battle of the great skateboard woman and they Nike ass beat them. <laughs> Yes, sir. There's a couple of similarities with both these sneakers. Both of them are made by X Game, great skateboard woman, and I can't pronounce neither of their names. These right here to the left is the Risa, Racer, and these here are Alexis Sailbone or Salbone. I, I, I probably butchered them, but these are two. Dope pieces, man. In the comment section below, let me know which one y'all rocking with first. What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, c -Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today, we're going to do a 4K review on a Nike SB Alexis Sailbone, I want to say. It, comment section below, let me know what's right, man. So, I didn't get the pack. Aww. But I didn't want the pack. I mean, I... Yeah, I I just don't do Converse, man. Those were a clean Converse, though. I like that shoe. I just didn't want the pack. It would have been dope to have the pack, but trust me, though, the Converse would have sat. Y'all know what I do with SBs, and this one I had to get. Hit the B-roll. Yes, sir. So I had to read up on Alexis because you know I don't I don't watch the skateboard games, but she's been in every X game since X Games came out. That is wild to me. Um Risa or Racer, she won a lot of gold medals for the X Games. So Nike is finally giving like the SBs to people who's supposed to get it, man. Um we don't do too much long talking at sneaker notes. Let's unbox them. Hit the B-roll. Hit the music. <laughs> Yes, sir. So it's a part of the uh, white and silver situation that we've been getting for the last two years. The uh, white with the chrome box. It reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS All You Green Desert Moss White. You flip open the lid, you get that SB tissue paper, and you do get the glow in the dark sticker that's been coming also for the last two years. Here's a 360 view of the Nike SB Dunk Chameleonaire, Chameleon, and um, it looks like a Mamba, a Mamba Dunk, man. It looks like a Kobe. You can see like the reptile skin, dinosaur skin, just creeping out from the rip, man. So let's start with the toe box. Toe box, very, it looks soft, but it's that regular SB Dunk leather. But it looks soft, guys, and it is soft. But it's not as soft as it look. Around there is where you get the whole sneaker, man. This is crazy. I, I don't know if y'all remember that old dinosaur movie show, Nakamama. This looks just like his skin, man. This is crazy, man. I, I, I love this look. So they calling it chameleon because if you can see some spots, you got like some purple, some oily, dark color texture, the light green, of course. It, 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 you see it better on the inside. See it there. You know what I mean? Game of Thrones, Burnt Dragon, it look like in there. Super dope. But if you can look behind it, you can tell that this sneaker can turn into something else. You can see the undertone bleeding from under. So you can see that it turns into something else. I'm yet to discover or see pictures of what it turns into. But it's definitely like a, a purplish color. Um, on the undertone there. Even your swoosh is draped in that like chameleon reptile look, but it's soft and it's new buck suede on the um on the swoosh. I'm kinda kinda well I get it, but I was just gonna say I don't know why they didn't do the suede new buck around the toes, but I get because it comes off and it turns into something different. So that's probably why they put the hard material here and then the soft material on the swoosh there. Behind the swoosh you get that same white <laughs> Dare I say shattered backboard tumbleness behind it. But again, that's probably because it comes off 
Look at the chameleon, there, man. Just look, look at the colors. You got like dark purple, blue, green, man. This is put together. Let's get to the back of the shoe. There go another dark colors there. Let's get to the back of the shoe. You see AS here. That's her initials. Alexis Selborn. Her initials is even chameleon or blending in with the back of the sneaker. The Nike logo is in the swoosh, sort of like the veneer. This whole sneaker does give you that veneer colorway, but you got that in the swoosh. I love this logo, but it doesn't pop for me on this shoe because they got it in the same colors, just like an outline stencil. But it's a good look. They go to A as big of braised letters. In the inside of the shoe, this is my first time seeing Nike SB look like that. I've never seen that logo before, but it's in that fuchsia purple. The same colorway that I think the sneaker turns into when you get through this reptile. You do get some fuchsia um, shoelaces, some white shoelaces, but it comes in the green, army green, swamp green laces there. Um, you do get a fat tongue, mesh white in the uh, front, and I think this side says chameleon there, right? Or oh, oh, chameleon, I can't. Chameleon there's a rapper from back in the days. It, it just mixes me up. But Chameleon Nike SB also in green on the white mesh. Behind it, though, you have some kind of symbol or logo here. You guys got to make that out for me. Like I told you, I'm not a Lexus Selborne fan. I'm a Nike SB fan. These just happen to be dope, but they got a logo there. I, I, I've never seen this before, guys, but we will have to look this up together. Here's the left shoe here. So they both say chameleon on it. Just like I believe the Ricer joints, they both said her name on, it, on the front too. I thought it switched, but they both say that. Also got the AS on the back. I feel like one, not one of these sneakers is the same. Just like the um, Supreme Ramalzi joints. I don't think you could you could you could uh, create this pattern a whole bunch of times. Um, I would love to see pictures of, of your sneaker if you got this. I want to see if all the designs and the silhouettes match up the same. The bottom you get that uh I guess what forest green dark green look. I like the way it blends here. But at the bottom it's all green with that fuchsia dead spot in the middle. The inside of the left shoe says AS as the right side said Nike SB. So that's the two differences in the um soles. Yes, sir. The, 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 shoes, the shoes giving me Targaryen House of Dragon vibes, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, retail was, I think, $130. I got them on the sneakers app. Um, I went to the sneakers app at 10 a.m. and I saw you only could buy the pack. Then I saw these came out at 11 o'clock. And I said, if I don't go for this pack and I don't hit at 11 o'clock on the single, I'm going to be tight. But I waited it out. I didn't go for the pack. I went for these at 11 a.m. And I hit um, off the sneakers app, $130. A resale right now was about the same price. Some skate shop websites still have sizes. SBs, man, they, they've been giving us some duds, but they've been giving us some stories in this. And these are like one of the better stories um, for um, 2024. But let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. Um, I love the front, man, but I really want to see what the inside look like, man. I got to find pictures to see what the what, what it looked like when it turned into something else, man. But I like these because I wound up getting rid of my uh, Buttercup Power Puff um, because that green was just like, it was... I don't know, it was too flashy, too shiny, but I did need some green SBs, and I'm I'm, I'm happy with these, man. Um, I'll just show you the sock liner. The sock liner, it, it glows a little bit too. It is green, but it, it got some shine to it, man. But again, let me know how you feel about these in the comment section below. I'm your boy Sneaker Nose. Thanks for watching, everybody. Get rich.